Welcome back, everybody. It's Kree Rama from Junk Journal Divas. I am back today. I am doing more projects using up some fabric scraps. So these are so stinking cute. I was sitting here and I had a whole bunch of tickets and they're always sitting on my desk and I thought I have never really used tickets. So I thought, let me use some tickets and try some things. So I tried a few things. I had, I was thinking they're about the same size as my domino books. Here's one of the domino book pages that I started and I just haven't finished this little guy yet, but I thought they're about the same size. Now these are, I don't know if you can see the tickets there, but I decoupaged a strip of these and then I kind of folded them together to make the pages the same way I did making the domino books. So I don't know if I'm going to do something with these. I was just playing around with ideas. And then, so I got some, some tickets and I decoupaged them. So here are some examples. Just playing around. This is lace and then I put some gesso over top. I think maybe if I put a stamped image on top of this or something. I also discovered that I prefer just the less grungy look for once. <laughs> so these are just some examples playing around with some things. I also did some guest checks because again, I have a book of them and I really haven't used them. And again, so this is one with some gesso and let me see, oh, they're both coffee dyed, but you can see I, I'm kind of preferring the less grungy look. I decided to do little pockets for my tickets and then I ended up with these guys. So I'm going to show you some of them. So these are the tea bags. You could even make an envelope very easily because it pretty much just strips of paper and then glue the edges to make a little mini pocket. It'd be very, very easy because the whole thing is covered up. So I used some double-sided sticky tape to lay down my pieces, as always. Let's see, here's the back. And then I just went around the very edges here and did some sewing. You wouldn't even really have to do that. On the inside, we've got our little ticket that pulls out. And I was thinking of um, some little sayings on here, you know, be mine and kisses and XOXO and those kind of things put on tickets. So these will be a part of, I have no idea how this is all going to come together. I'm just having fun making little things and maybe do some tag books or something since I love doing those to put all the elements that I make together. I stamped some fabric pieces here. So you can see in the back here, I have a couple of different colors and did some stamping. So I've got that bright pink. I have some on the pale pink and then some light in just various sizes here. So I've got these guys. I got some buttons out. Here are some other tickets. These look kind of cool with, these are the red tickets with some lace on top and I just laid it down as though I was decoupaging. And then just some other pieces of the tickets that I already showed. And then I have, well, I used a lot of them, but the little flower pieces I used on the top of my tickets. Pretty much, I think I, yeah, I used all of them up. All of these guys for my toppers, but I'm sure I can find something else to use here. So super cute. This one says a joy. 
and then you can just glue these onto your project that you're doing. Another one that says grateful. This one I use some fabric in the background. I just pinned one of my little things on. I think I know I have more of those flowers. I gotta find them. And this is just a little fabric piece that I sewed on the ticket. Just so cute. Another one here. I need to put a button on this one. This one. And then this one was kind of a little boho one experimenting with. So you get the idea here. This is what I've been working on. And then this one, I had this piece of fabric from a corner and I thought, well, that's perfect. It already has everything on it that um, you don't even really have to decorate it. So, so this is all put together and now I can just use some double-sided tape. And I go across the top here so that I can seal that part up. center just to kind of hold it and then I'm just going to take my topper so there we go and now I can just go around those edges and sew if I want to you could use a little bit of glue on those edges and then I'll just pick out a ticket that I want to use. I'll use one of one of these. And then I have a piece of a doily and I cut the little, you know, the scalloped parts off. So for this one, I am just going to staple it. So there we go. So cute, right? I'm going to show you um, how I did these and we'll see what's next, where this leads. And then I'm going to put all these pieces together. I have my snippet rolls that I did and I'm excited to put them together for my Valentine's. So let's get started. So I started off doing some decoupage and if you don't know this trick about how to separate the pieces of napkin, the layers, use a piece of scotch tape and it pulls up the layers. Sometimes there's three layers and you'll see here there's an extra layer there. Um, sometimes it's just two, two plies. But I started off just doing some decoupage and I am showing this part where I decoupage some guest checks because I probably will use these uh, for some of my Valentine makes, maybe put a little focal point on there and have them be little journal cards or something. So I thought I would leave this part in as well. And like I said in the beginning, I normally would start with using a tea or coffee dyed, um, you know, whether it's a ticket or guest check, but when they were dry and everything was finished, I actually preferred the just clean ones. So if you have guest checks and they're not tea stained or anything, don't worry about it. It looks really pretty when you put the, the napkin on. One thing to keep in mind if you are doing a larger surface area, um, like a guest check and not just a little skinny ticket, is that it's better to have a ripped edge so that you don't have that blunt, uh, you know, straight line showing up. So if you just sort of tear the napkin and then glue it down, it looks better in my opinion. So I'm gonna show just a few more things that I decoupage here, and then I move on to doing tickets, and I even add some lace to my tickets, 
and then I move on to decorating the pockets. So enjoy the video and we'll catch up at the end.
Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm excited to put all of these goodies together in my Valentine's makes. So stay tuned for more to come.